Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Alex and I'm the Coffee Filter Bride. And today I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to make a cupcake cup garland for your wedding. So the tools you'll need is a piece of yarn about two feet long. Uh, you'll also need a small to medium sized knitting hook. And then your cupcake cup. So your first step is you're going to tie a knot at the base of the uh, piece of yarn. So I usually do my knot with about four uh, loops through it. Uh, it makes it a uh, good size for the cup to sit on. So it's going to look just like that. Your second step is to take your cupcake cup and uh, flip it upside down. And you're going to take your knitting hook and poke a hole right through the top. Uh, your cup might get a little bit deformed in the process, but that's okay because you can just reshape it with your fingers active. So you're going to push your knitting hook through. You're going to take uh, the end of the yarn that does not have a knot in it, and you're going to loop it uh, around the knitting hook. Next, you're going to pull the knitting hook through the top of the cup, and you're going to, um, well, you're going to, uh, thread the yarn right through the top. So your cupcake cup is going to slide down the yarn just like that, and then it's going to sit at the base of your yarn. So your next step is you're going to tie another knot about two inches from the top of your first cup. So again, I usually use a four loop knot. Uh, another way to do it, so four or three loops, doesn't really matter. Another way to do it is to do um, your basic uh, bunny ear loop knot. So you can take a loop just like that, tie it around your finger once, and that also creates a nice base for your cupcake cup to sit on. It's not just like that. The loop knot does use a bit more yarn, but I mean, if uh, you have a huge budget and uh, too much yarn is not a concern, then it's often quite a bit faster. So again, you're going to repeat the steps where you're just going to take your knitting hook, poke it right through the top. Uh, thread the, the unknotted yarn, uh, top of the un, uh, yeah, whatever, you get what I'm saying. Thread it through the top, pull it through, rest it on, and boom, you have your garland. So I like to use a two, uh, foot long piece of yarn because as you can see, the edges get a little frayed. Uh, so I find that usually two feet will do about seven or eight cups, and then it'll be frayed just enough that it looks gross. So what I do is I would just attach it to my, um, Next step, the base of it, and it will become the knot of the second one. So as you can see, this is a finished product. Um, they do get a little disfigured, but again, you just reshape them with your fingers, and this is what it can look like. What I like to do also uh, is use different colors. So we haven't picked our colors for our wedding yet, but uh, a way to kind of incorporate your colors is different colors yarn. You'll be able to see in the pictures below. So yellows, blues, purples, it can be a really subtle way to incorporate your colors. Or what you can do is use the colored cupcake uh, cup. So pinks, yellows, again, whatever your wedding colors are, can be a really subtle way to incorporate your colors. Again, if you want to use larger cups like these are, you just simply adjust the length of yarn between your knots. Uh, it should be good to go to compensate for the lip of the uh, quarter fold. My name is Alex. I'm the coffee filter bride. See you next time.